Projects come in many different shapes and sizes, but they all have several things in common. The first of which is that they are temporary by nature. They have a definite start time and they have a definite end. Secondly, they also have a specific objective. So each particular project that we work on will be able to tell if we've achieved that objective or not. Thirdly, our project has a customer, somebody that's being done for, and stakeholders. Customers are usually those people that are actually paying for the project, but stakeholders are people that we define more broadly to those that have an interest in the project. There may be internal stakeholders, employees, the managers, the owners, or external stakeholders. These can even just be the citizens around in our community, our government, as well as those companies and organizations we're interacting with directly. For the sake of definitions, we'll say that a stakeholder is anyone with an interest in the project. Fourthly, a project has constraints. So this is the traditional project quality triangle, as it's sometimes referred to, and or also referred to as the triple constraint of time, cost, and scope. Normally, our projects do not have unlimited amount of budget or unlimited scope, and they certainly don't have an unlimited amount of time in which they can be completed. Fifthly, there is some measure for success. So we have some way to judge our progress as the project moves forward. In something like a traditional project, we might use something like earned value metrics to be able to come up with some measure of our project and some projection for where we're going to end up. In agile projects, we might do something like a burndown chart to also give us an understanding of where we are in the project as well as the amount of time to complete the work that we currently have scheduled. And finally, our projects also have a certain amount of uncertainty. That's why they have to be monitored and controlled. The project manager needs to make adjustments to our project as we go along. Changes need to be implemented and problems are going to occur, some of which are going to be hard to predict. That's not unusual for projects, and good project managers will be able to deal with that uncertainty, both in the planning process as well as in the monitoring control process.